Well, we're at a college field day one of the Prairie Farms Holiday Classic Tournament wraps up with Beverly in that last game, the uh, nightcap, eighth game of the day, winning 52-49 over Culver, Tennessee. You're joined by assistant coach Keith Padgett of that basketball team. Talk about a 52-49 win. Always good to join you here after a win. Appreciate you taking time to join me. It's always nice to see you, yes. Stephen, but it's nice to see you more after, after yes. a win. So. Yes, I, you know, it's a pretty late game. Obviously, being the last game, it's almost 11 o'clock. Has this been the latest you left the gym? Uh, no, we had a, we've had some other late nights, but this is a pretty late one. So. Pretty late one, yeah. yeah. And it, it was, you guys get that three-point win. Obviously, you guys led for a good majority of the game after the uh, start of the second quarter up to the third quarter and deep in the fourth quarter, but things kind of fell away at the end. What was your thoughts on this one? Uh, you know, we got down towards the end and we're inexperienced a little bit in those situations. So, you know, we had some got some learning to do, but I think we learned some lessons. It's nice to learn the lessons and still come out on top. One of those biggest things I really saw that really put the Dragons back in the game was rebound. They had a lot of offensive rebounds and the reason why they put two big guys in, in Elijah Lucier and in number uh, 24, Caleb Davis, two tall guys, 6'9", 6'10", respectfully. How do you really guard those two down low and box down and get a rebound? Yeah, those two guys are big dudes. Uh, and number 11 came in. He, he played really well yes. on the offensive glass. He played, he's a phenomenal player. He played great overall. Uh, definitely something we got to focus on, like rotating and who rebounds, you know, when somebody slides off to help somebody else. Uh, we didn't do a very good job of that. Yeah, they had seven, 39 rebounds, 17 of them were from the offensive side, so almost 50%. You look at you guys, you guys ended up having a uh, leaded scorer in Tallahassee with 13, Jalen Coleman with 12. I mean, Jalen, you know, last game, Al Toffee comes in at point guard to run, starting point guard after Clear Waller's out. He comes in. I think he had five points in the game against Altoff. Now this game, he explodes for double figures. He was knocking down some shots. He was. He had the first two threes. He's not afraid at all. The kid has no fear in him. Uh, he's fantastic. I mean, he, he played really well in that first half. He gave us a big lift, as did Chris Jenkins. Yes. Chris Jenkins off the bench tonight was really good. Uh, good minutes, hit some big shots, big three in that first half. Uh, he played really well. So far this season, Christian's played good defense, but he also, when he can find that shot, he's really going to the court. He's a great shooter. Um, I've had him for the last couple of years on JV, and man, I've seen him just light the place up. And he can, he's capable of doing that. Um, and tonight, you saw what he could do, what he did on the fast break layup. Uh, no, on the alley oop on the inbounds. I mean, he was up there. He yeah. was up there. I won't say that he's high enough to dunk it, just in case he watches this, because I don't want him to think that. So. <laughs> yeah, he was a wide open on that yeah, fast he's break. Pretty he's, he's, just, he's pretty uh, high up there. He just laid it up. Talis Lauer continues to do what he does, score the basketball on one end and play defense on the other. Yeah, he did a much better job in the second half of going straight to the rim with yeah. the ball, and that had an effect. Now, he called it the charge on him, but that was a tough charge. Um, I'd love to see him doing that and being aggressive, because he's always great on defense, but when he goes straight to the rim on offense, he's tough to stop. You guys will play tomorrow, 2.30, in the quarterfinal game. We take it on Lincoln, Illinois. A team you guys played last year in the second round, so uh, another interesting matchup tomorrow for you guys. Yeah, and they're, you know, they're a talented team. They're well coached. Uh, their coach has been there uh, for a long time. He's a legend, and he does a great job. And those kids have grown up playing the style that they play. Um, they played a really good game before us, especially I'm yes. sure their coaches would say they played a better game in the second half than they did in the first half. But uh, they really did a nice job. Um, so we'll have our work cut out for us tomorrow, that's for sure. What's the biggest thing you guys going from tonight to tomorrow need to improve on to win tomorrow? Uh, I'd say rebounding is going to be a big thing. Uh, executing on offense is also going to be something big tomorrow because Lincoln like, it makes you execute your half-court offense. So um, if we can do that, um, I think we should be in good shape. Well, Coach, appreciate you taking time to join me. As always, I'll see you tomorrow. hopefully see you tomorrow after our win. I like it. I like it.